it was very exciting, you know, to be part of something new, growing, uh, exploring things that have never been explored before. The Space Physics Research Lab here at the University of Michigan, it was founded to study the upper atmosphere. Sproul originally was basically an instrument builder and flyer. You know, the early 60s when space exploration expanded very significantly, and Spur was a part of that expansion and had an excellent reputation. Originally, they uh, were looking at rocket projects, which launched um, kind of sensors to measure the upper atmosphere and to understand it. Over time, uh, it evolved. It's all about highly reliable, autonomous systems that go to extreme places and can survive for, you know, tens of years. Sproul engineers work on a really wide variety of projects. They can build sensors to put out in the ocean to measure waves and, and winds and things like that, or they can build sensors that go out to the far reaches of the solar system. Spurl has built a large number of instruments that have gone to Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and Mars. And we've built and flown a number of instruments that look at the sun. Being situated in the university is um, ideal for Spurl. It's this great educational experience. Everyone is learning. We've got students that are coming into Spurl. They're working on these projects, these one-of-a-kind space missions. They're learning directly from engineers who are, you know, they're not just designing one little widget, you know, on a car or, you know, on an airplane. They're designing something that is one-of-a-kind and is going to go to space. It's going to launch. Able to clear the tower. Now beginning the pitch over maneuver. Body rear response. We're really focusing on sustainability going forward. How do we sustain the lab and sustain the research community by helping people achieve their engineering goals and their, their scientific goals? 